You're listening to Marwan, the autobiography of a 9-11 terrorist, a novel written and read by the author, Aram Sheffrin. New York, June 2000. I looked down to a haze of smog from the top of the Empire State. The greatest city in the world was an ugly jumble of buildings, for the most part dreary, more like Dickens London as I imagined it, than the clean, airy symmetry of the skyline of Dubai. You'll see how they built the city. No rules, no plan. So, Marwan, how was your flight? The voice was behind me. I turned around. Atta was standing there with Ziad Jara. Since I had seen them last, Atta and Jara had shaved off their beards. Jara looked like the typical Western college kid, except a little cleaner and a lot less loud. Atta was wearing a black T-shirt and black Armani jeans. He looked like that guy with the cockatoo in that show Beretta that I used to get in Kusaibat on the TV from Dubai. The flight was good, cousin. So here we are. Atta said, You know why I picked this place to meet? Because you wanted us to see... Everything we hate. Come. We leaned out over the parapet and Atta showed us where Wall Street was, the fortress of the Yehudis and the advertising area where they were always busy making us want what we didn't need. Times Square, the home of the Jew press and assorted depravities. He pointed out the bridges that led into the city from the east and the west. I don't hate those bridges, he said. They express the nature of God. They're so magnificent. They're almost blasphemous. And then two tall, ugly buildings to the south. Atta hated skyscrapers. People piled on top of each other. Hideous, he said, like what goes on inside them. Now, Marwan, you have to look at them. But I could not look at them. It's like seeing your own tombstone. Let's go somewhere else. I had already had enough of New York. No matter where we looked that day, we found filth. Not just wrappers and cigarette butts, but a coating of grime on everything, which only a flood like Noah's could have cleansed away. So it was not a high point when Atta led us down some steps into a hole in the sidewalk that smelled like my unwashed laundry did when I let it sit for two weeks. I am from desert people. This was not civilized. Coming up the stairs at the end of the ride, I saw in front of me the bases of two buildings embossed with high, narrow arches, like a crocheted antimacassar. You shit! I snarled at Atta. Why did you bring me here? I didn't bring you here, Atta said. Allah did. You've been listening to an edited version of the beginning of Marwan. The Autobiography of a 9-11 Terrorist. You can buy this book in print from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or Borders. You can also buy it in audio from audible.com or at Amazon. And you can pick it up on podcast at audiobooks.com.